Uh, in the mountains, we, the only thing we ever encountered was North Vietnamese regulars. So uh, in Tuiwa, we would encounter a lot of locals. I hate to say they were easier to kill, but they were. So, what, talk me through some of those encounters with the with the locals first. Okay, uh, down in Tuiwa. I remember one of the first operations, and it was, we came in, it was a fairly low area, and there were some rice, rice paddies, and, but there was some flat land, and there was a village kind of about a thousand meters away, and as we're going, we come across a bunker. I go, damn, okay, so what are you going to do? You know, no one wants to really go in there, uh, so I said, well, throw, no, what you want to do is throw smoke grenades into it. Why? Because if the smoke grenades, if there is a traveling bunker, you want to see where the smoke, if there's an exit route, that smoke's going to come up. So you toss, we've tossed about three or four uh, smoke grenades in there and nothing. I said, okay, throw some, we started throwing in some regular grenades, you know, and the blast came right back at us. So we said, shit. So it's, we knew that it didn't go anywhere. So I said, okay, let's go on. And then I started getting, we started catching some fire, some sniper fire at us. So I get the men online. We're going to get, you know, direct some fire in on them. And all of a sudden, right behind me, our, our two uh, NVA sergeant and another one, and they had been in the bunker. And the grenades didn't kill them. What happened was the smoke was so bad they couldn't breathe. So they came calling out to surrender. And they could have killed me. Uh, what they were was they were, we had caught them, they were going up in the mountain, they had malaria. So they were leaving the low areas going up to a, a uh, an area up in the mountains where they could get uh, medical treatment. And we had caught them and they saw us come in uh, and they jumped into the bunkers. So did you just, did you capture those guys? Oh yeah. Got scared, him. Yeah. I felt sorry for him because we turned him over to the local PLF and they... <sighs> and what, what those guys yeah. were against the North Vietnamese? Uh, yes, the local police. And they were, we, we could tell that these guys weren't going to make it very far. Right. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was just tough. The other thing about Tuiwa, we did kill, a, uh, we knocked off a squad of locals uh, we, uh, on a riverbank. Uh, so we, uh, that was probably, you know, I want I shouldn't say they're easier to kill than North Vietnamese. That's kind of not a way of doing it, but it was more of a small local contact. What happened? And it was more, more frequent in the mountains. You never saw anything until they were going to kill you. Uh, just very rare, but in, in Tuiwa, well, I know we made contact. What happened with the, the riverbed guys? Huh? What happened with the squad at the riverbed? Oh, we, we, uh, we, they were dumb enough to throw grenades at us, so we got them and we, they were in bunkers and we, we uh, killed them all. 